During October at the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley, an event known as the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular provides an immersive experience through ginormous pumpkins. They're big. Real big. Yep, yep. Natalie Eccles and her family chose to return this year for the event. It's a slow build because at first you just kind of see them along the side, but then you see a bunch up in the trees and that's pretty cool. Great way for families to get out and enjoy their time. For Will Bacala and his family. It's our first time, so. Yeah. What brought you guys out here? Jack-o-lanterns, right? Yeah, sounded like a great time. A great time that left his son. Happy. Made you feel happy? And surprised. Yep. I like that. His mother adds, it's pretty magical. <laughs> Even though the spectacular is primarily observed after sunset, during the daytime, a team of artists curates these magical works of art. It's my first year. Cool. Yeah. In a tucked away shed on the zoo grounds, a team works on the thousands of themed pumpkins throughout the event. So the theme this year is a night at the library. So we, we draw upon uh, books throughout history, basically. This is Brian Christensen's third year taking part in the event, although he finds the spectacular's magic through a different source than most. The people, the people on the trail, you know, you're, you come up to it and you don't even, for the first time, you don't know what, you're, what to expect. And, you know, to view it as an outsider on the face of other people is just, it's magical, yeah. With artists of backgrounds across the board, Christensen says, It's just a, a melting pot of artists, and it's really just an experience. It's cool. An event filled with aliens, video games, and National Geographic. There's a lot to see out here. Hunter Bertram, University Report.